When you are 13 and a half years old, you need to be learning negative numbers. When you are 14, you need to be learning exponents. That's silly. You need to be learning exponents once you really understand multiplication. And you need to be learning negative numbers once you really understand the number line. And once you get rid of the stigma and you open it up and everyone's a learner and everyone's just on the same playing field, I, it actually is empowering for everyone. And I have a two-year-old son, Imran, and, and, and obviously I care about what his academic experience is going to look like. And I'm hoping that when he's five or six, he goes to a classroom that not only has five or six year olds in it, but it has kids of all ages in that one classroom. It's kind of a reversion back to the one room schoolhouse. And when he goes to that classroom, some part of his day, and I'm not talking about the whole day, maybe 20 to 30 minutes of the day, especially for the core subjects, are spent are on the Khan Academy watching videos. And by that time, it won't just be mathematics and science, it'll be grammar, it'll be vocabulary. The slope of this orange line he starts at the most basic concepts. He doesn't move on to more advanced concepts until he shows that he is 110% proficient at the more basic ones, and then it moves him on. And he gets data, and he gets feedback, and his teachers get feedback. And the paradigm is, is all of these students at all different ages, they're all gonna be working at their own pace in every class, in grammar, in mathematics, in everything, the, the teacher now, instead of having to give this one-size-fits-all lecture to everybody, can now look at the data, see where every student is, and the software identifies who's stuck. The teacher, every now and then, will sit next to Imran and help Imran as a mentor, actually have that human interaction. And even better, if the teacher isn't around, or even if the teacher is around, it might be better for Imran to be tutored by one of his peers. Maybe another six-year-old, maybe a ten-year-old who's a little ahead of the curve, who's well-respected as a teacher already. I mean, what's really exciting about this is it's an interactive experience. I cringe at the idea of my son in a room, at the same rooms that I used to sit in, sitting like this, staring at the clock, waiting for the bell to ring. I don't want him to do that for 12 years. I want him interacting with his peers. I want him teaching his peers. I want my son to be respected in his classroom, not because he's, he got a perfect on his SATs, not because he's, he's the smartest kid in the class. I want him to be respected because he's the best teacher in the class, because he communicates well, because he has empathy for his peers, because he's always willing to stop what he's doing to help one of his, his friends. Um, I, I think if that happens, then I, I wouldn't worry too much about uh, what, what, what my son does afterwards.